हेलो गाइस सो इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट अ वीक सिंस द जेन वॉज पेंटेड आई टुक इट आउट वंस फॉर काइंड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर ड्राइव एज यू कैन सी द टायर्स आर क्लीन आई क्लीन मोस्ट ऑफ द ओवर स्प्रे एज वेल लाइक ऑल ओवर हियर देर वॉज ओवर स्प्रे यू कैन सी अ बिट ऑफ दैट इवन नाउ so that has been cleaned but uh, the main thing is if you can notice uh, there is a bit of orange peel uh, in the paint also there are some spots like this which has some issues so what we are going to do today is we are going to polish the entire car but before we polish it we have to wash the car because as you can see there is a lot of uh, dirt and mud all over it like that area i am yet to um, get the mud flaps they are not available uh, there is one available on amazon but um, you know the reviews are not that great so i didn't order that but in the meantime uh, i have actually ordered the uh, floor mats for this uh, this has a set of floor mats in it but it's not that great so what we are going to do today is we are going to uh, cut and polish the entire car so this is one job that i have been dreading for a very long time for that what you need is you need a 1500 grit uh, paper then you also need a 2000 grit paper so these are like a um, little expensive um each is about 90 rupees so this is 2000 and uh, then we are going to use a wool pad to polish it so this is the last stage uh, before we apply wax so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and start washing the car uh, and once the car is completely washed then we will uh, start cutting it with uh, 1500 then we will cut it with um 2000 then we will cut it with the maguire's uh, cutting compound and finally uh, at the end we will polish it using uh, the wax um that i have which is the best wax in the world uh call night so that is what we are going to use so you can see it is separated that's not an issue once we shake it it is all going to be good so yeah let's go ahead and quickly start so as you can see uh, this is the kind of finish that we are after so this is now as you can see all scuffed up uh, this orange peel that you can see is almost uh, gone but uh, it is supposed to be a bit more smooth so this kind of gives us a reference as to how it should look if you can see this area uh this is how the entire bonnet should look uh i don't have much problems here but there uh on that side there is still some orange peel so i'll give i'll go once over again on this side um uh, with 1500 uh then we will use the uh 2000 okay okay so what might look like a few minutes to you guys actually took me a few hours 
so the entire car has been sanded with 1500 so this is the kind of uh, finish you should aim at like basically it should look like uh, the entire paint job is hazy so as you can see here uh, there is some orange peel left uh, but that is not that deep I can actually um, take another pass at it but uh, from the touch it is not that bad so I think when I buff it will come out nice so a typical example would be this fender as you can see there is absolutely zero shine so that is what you should be after like you know it should be all as if it is uh, foggy and hazed up so that is how it should look uh, so all these scratches will go uh, next I'm going to use 2000 grit and um, once that is done uh, there will be a bit of shine that will come uh, that shine will further get enhanced once we start uh, polishing it and uh, once we start applying the uh, wax so remember this image in your hand because this is the last time the car is going to look like this okay so, enough of you. so I have uh, sanded the entire car with 2000 grit so you can see there is a hint of shine but that's not the actual shine so now the uh, entire orange peel is gone and the clear is pretty level as you can see it's all hazy uh, so once I start polishing it the shine will come out so you guys can see the pearl effect pretty nicely uh, one thing that I hate the most is the super glue warriors who think that anything can be fixed using super glue if you can see in this area there is some super glue so I can actually color sand it out like in this area also there is some um, so probably I am going to do that because I don't think uh, this will look nice once I start polishing it uh, so I know most of you guys can't see it but it is here here and here so this wiper actually was broken so the guy decided to fix it using super glue so there is a place and you know a situation where super glue can be used so paint jobs are not cheap so this is a wool pad that I got for the machine uh, and this is one stage where things can go seriously wrong. So this is the cutting compound we are using. So what we need to do is we need to put couple of dots let's see if it is seal is not broken okay so you put couple of dots on it and then you spread it
so this is just the polishing step after that there will be a coat of wax that I'll apply so you can see the quality of that against here so I'm, I'm going to use something else that I have instead of this Maguire's compound because this is not cutting the way I want it to so I'll catch up with you guys once I finish polishing the bonnet guys check this out so that is precisely how you convert a 5000 rupee paint job into a 50,000 rupee paint job I can guarantee you that nobody can believe that this was done by somebody who started painting about a month ago even I am surprised uh, I don't know whether the camera is picking all the pearl but it is beautiful um, let's see it is picking up the pearl let me get it so this is how the pearls look in this I don't know whether it's picking up yep it is so that's how awesome the paint job is I have actually surprised myself this time <laughs> rather presently um, so let me see if I can shoot a video tomorrow um, in the sun so you will see all that pearl pop so that is how you convert a 5000 rupee paint into a 50,000 rupee paint so all I need to do now is put the number plate on and it's ready to go um, I am hoping that uh, once my wife starts learning on this uh, then she might give me another opportunity to paint the whole thing <laughs> I hope you get the joke um, but then um, there is one more thing that has happened recently which I wanted um, your opinion about so uh, I actually visited a junkyard to get some uh, parts for this car like the brackets which go under the mud guard the uh, you know a pillar uh, cladding etc so when I went there uh, I saw a shell which was from a car which has just run 30,000 kilometers and it is beautiful you know absolutely no scratch no dent and zero rust um, when I actually dismantled this for painting I saw a lot of rust some of it was surface rust but some of it was little dangerous so actually um, there was a crack here you know this A pillar was split so that crack actually runs under the uh, windshield and I really cannot fix it so my question is um, you know most likely I might decide to keep the car because you know I've started falling in love with this uh, it runs nice the occasionally the power steering dies uh, occasionally it starts swaying as if you know it's made of uh, a banana but then overall this is a fun car so I actually like the nippy behavior that it has and also the way it handles in the city uh, especially parking wise so if I decide to keep it then I have to take a decision on buying that shell and swapping everything from here to that so that is going to be a momentous task so that would be a restoration in the real sense uh, right now what you see is cosmetic so if I let's say decide to do that then uh, what I have to paint mainly is the roof then both quarter panels and then also you know some of the interior because it is golden color so all these door jams etc I have to paint so maybe half a liter of paint uh, would do that plus also I'll paint the engine bay the engine bay in this looks pathetic so 
I need your opinion. Let me know if that's a good idea or get rid of this car and move on to something nicer but i actually like this car you know personally the look of this car is also growing on me slowly so let me know your thoughts so yeah that's about today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like share and subscribe if you have any comments please feel free to comment on the video so thanks a lot for watching good night